hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so i had to work today today is like day three um we're trying to move this trailer in the back here so now we're hooking up the semi to the uh beams and everything here and not to the beam to the uh chain and see if this trailer moves take a look guys I could get a, a good shot of this. Look, it's not even doing anything. The, the, the semi is too, um, I guess, doesn't have the power to pull the trailer because the trailer have a lot of stuff in it have our bed it has everything in there so <sighs> probably gonna have to get a heavier equipment to pull the trailer on the beams right here see the beams laid down right here these are all the beams here and then once the trailer slide on these beams like there's the trailer is supposed to land like around here away from the construction site the construction site will be over here to build our home so right now we gotta find somebody that um, have like a bulldozer or some a vehicle that's stronger that can actually pull the trailer the air condition is hooked off already and I don't know guys so this is where we're at right now. Okay, so guys, I have ran in some um, problems with moving the um, my mobile home. And it's, it's kind of stressful, so I'm eating my, my little lunch here. It's kind of stressful, and we're going to just have to resort and just either destroying the trailer or having someone just haul it away and just figure out what we're gonna do about our living arrangement. Because um, I have to build this house and I've already um, put in the, um, the order for the trusses. Okay guys, we ran into a major problem. The semi here, cannot pull the trailer so what i'm gonna do there's a neighbor that lives down the street that has like bulldozers like some heavy equipment so i'm gonna go down there and i'm gonna ask i'm gonna ask him if he can um help us pull our trailer so let's go take a ride guys i might not be able to um um video um down there because i don't know if he wants me to so You'll know the answer when I get it. And it takes 16 weeks. And so progress is being started. So I'm gonna have to actually go ahead and um, just either destroy the trailer or have our friend just haul it away. Um, our plan was great. Our plan was great with us. Um, just moving the trailer over more on the land and for us to live in it while we watch our house build. So the plan was good, but we don't want to spend all that money. The guy that wants to move this trailer is going to cost us $3,000 to move it 20 feet. I'm a person, I don't know what moving is entailed, but my husband says no. He is not going to pay no three thousand dollars to move this trailer 20 feet so our best bet now 
is for us to, when we are ready to build, we're gonna have to either destroy the trailer or we're gonna have to um, have our friend haul it away. Cause he was gonna haul it away after we finished build the home. He was gonna come and he was gonna haul it away and put it on his land. So that's our, um, and then we're thinking about moving it with the two semi trucks that we have because one semi truck can't move it. It's too light in the back. The truck is too light in the back. So um, it's not moving the trailer. So that's our best bet. Um, our, our best bet is to um, just destroy the trailer or um, just have our friend haul it away. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about outside. Um, so um, stay tuned and please like, share my channel to everybody. And I'm doing this in the United States, guys. In the United States, I am building my own home. I am my own contractor. You can do it in some states. And Florida is one of the states that you can be your own contractor. And we have a neighbor down the street that is actually helping us with um, giving us information of who uh, pour the floor for his house, who run the blocks for his house, who help put the trusses on, and stuff like that. So, um, please follow along. Um, if you guys have an idea of doing this yourself, just please follow along, because my journey is getting very stressful, and we wanna um, go through this um, together, okay? I will show you now um, what I'm talking about outside. Okay guys, so here is what I am talking about here. So we have beams. These are called beams right here. These are beams. They are set up, we have one, two, three, four beams here. And these beams are where the trailer is gonna slide on over on the land for us to live in. So at the end of the beam is where the trailer is gonna land. So let's check here. So for those of you that haven't watched my videos, go ahead and take a look at my videos. Mahalia travels and vlogs. And um, just look at my videos and you will know what I'm talking about. You see this piece right here? These pieces are very delicate. And those two pieces, we um, they're attached to the actual trailer. So they have one piece right here. And we have one piece right here. So this um, attachment is delicate and we don't want them to break off so we are actually um bracing them and the trailer is like a 1970 something trailer so um it's very fragile also and we're pulling the trailer so what we were gonna do is pull the trailer from this end first and then we go up to the other end and pull the other end this way. Then we come back down here and we pull it a little bit more. And then we go up there and we pull it a little bit more. But because of the age of the trailer, the guy was saying that the chassis, and for those of you that don't know what the chassis is, because it is a mobile home and it, you can put it on wheels and everything, but this one doesn't have it wheels. But it will, when we, when the um, guy's hauling it away, he is going to um, put it up on wheels and he's going to drive it away. So it's a mobile home, guys. So the chassis of the mobile home is weak because it's been there for a long time. So pulling it could bend it. So what the guys were saying is that he can get his two excavator, his two excavators, and he can pull or, or lift, lift the trailer over, 
the 20 to the 20 feet mark here for guess what guys three thousand us dollars i can't afford it i can't afford three thousand us dollars guys i have to have every money in my bank in order for me to build this house because i'm building this house from my pocket and i'm using different people to do the sections of the house so i have to hold my money in my pocket and that's something that i'm not willing to pay at all never so that's what i'm saying my resort is to just leave it the way it is and one we're ready, actually ready to build because I'm still waiting on a few couple of things to go in and get my permit. So um, I'm still waiting on that. So when I have everything in my hand and I'm ready to build them, this trailer here will be hauled away. And then this is my shed right here. This is a shed inside of a shed so this is my shed i'm gonna go in there and i'm going to fix inside in there and i'm going to live there until my house is built because i will not pay no one's rent i will not pay no one's mortgage i will not move into any other place when i have a building right here that i can situate myself to um build my home so guys let me know what you think let me know what you think about this write a comment um comment and um share and like uh, my videos guys i have uh, quite a few videos up on my youtube channel just uh go on there and you can watch my videos come all the way down guys to my move from my house because i sold my five bedroom five bedroom three bath three full bath home and I just bought this land and I moved on there I, I spent my last penny to buy this land and now I am trying to build this house from my pocket beautiful home guys when when it's um, done but um, that's where I stand right now yes guys um, please like share and subscribe to my channel um, this is where I'm at with the construction of my home. It's very stressful and I am trying to keep it together. We're trying to keep it together and um, in good faith knowing that this is going to happen. So, we have so much stuff to do to this land. We have um, the house to build. We have a garage to build. Our garage is separate from the, um, the house. So this is, this is going to be a garage here. So that's our carport right there. You're looking at our carport like right here. That's our carport right there. So you're looking at uh, that. That's going to be turned into a garage. Then we have to um, um, put grass down. And we have to do quite a few stuff on this land here. So I will see you guys later, guys. Like, share, and subscribe, please. And tell your friends. Uh, to look at my video on how I will be building my home. Until next time, guys. Bye.